As you can see, I've only got three little dents to my health, but we're going to try to go ahead and take it, I guess. Let's do it. Okay, he jumped. Oh, my. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Welcome back to Spontaneous Remarks. The only place you never know what's going to happen, what's going to be said or done. You just got to know what game we're playing. Today, we're back. It's Throwback Thursday. We're back on more Mega Man 3. Doing the Gemini Man stage this time, guys. So, thank you so much for tuning in on this Throwback Thursday. It's, uh, we're doing all right. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn on the notifications. Hit that bell. That way you know when I post. So, I appreciate it very, very much. Getting right down to it. Uh, this stage is pretty much just, uh... <laughs> just a platforming stage, just like all the other Mega Man games. You got to be careful, don't fall in the holes. There was a trick uh, to this game back in the day. If you had two controllers, here's our Proto Man. Luckily, this time we don't have to fight him, he just opens the way. He knows he's going to get whooped. But anyway, uh, if you had two controllers, you could hold, I believe it was the right direction on the D pad. And if you fell in a hole and died, that would uh, cause you to jump out. Uh, it was kind of a um, invincibility uh, trick because then the music would stop, but you could continue through the game. And I, if I remember right, I don't think it hurt you uh, after that. But that's pretty interesting. I don't know of any other games that that particular... Uh, glitch or cheat or whatever you want to call it was on, especially with Mega Man. So here we are in the caviar tunnels. We're uh, shooting these little fish eggs, I guess is what they are. I was trying to figure out how to get up there, but I can't jump up high enough to to hit that button there, or to hit that uh, little switch there. <clears throat> and I don't think I have a weapon that can do that. Let's see here. What do we got here? Rush coil, jump up there high enough. Oh, well, I got the, uh, I busted it. It's going to go away before I can get up there, though. Yeah, oh, well. Back to the old Mega Buster, carrying on here. Gemini Man stage is not all that difficult. There are a few places. All right, climbing up the ladder. The old ladder. Uh, Mega Man 3 had uh, another, you'll see uh, when I get to that part later on in the game. Uh, Mega Man 3 did something that I don't believe any other Mega Man game uh, did. I don't remember exactly right now, but um, after we're done with the uh, eight robot bosses, we have uh, four stages that we have to do that also incorporate... Uh, Robots that look nothing like any of the robots do now, and but they are the Mega Man 2 boss uh, weapons. They're the Mega Man 2 equivalents. Um, the, there's four stages, and there's two bosses per each stage, like you have a, a mini boss, um, and they're both of them are from the Mega Man 2 game, um, but they're not the they look different. The the robots look different. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, let's see. We got the old um, Rush Marine this time. So we can jump in this and uh, just make it through here. Look, I got to pick up a one up there. Oh, pick up an uh, energy tank there. Oh, but we're getting low on energy. So jump up there. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got another one right here. All right. Uh oh. Oh no. What am I doing? Now I'm. Now, oh no. Now I gotta get up here without dying. All right. Okie dokie. Climbing up the ladder. We got the little frog dudes. We're just going to bypass that dude. <clears throat> that was an easy hit right there. 
Stand on the ladder to get him. Now we have the search snake. Uh, that's what we're going to use to beat Gemini Man. Now Gemini Man splits into two. One of them is a fake. The other one is real. Uh, so it's pretty much cut and dry. He jumps over you. You run under him. Now he's going to run back and forth. Oh, and hit us with the Gemini Blade. Or Beam, whatever you call it. But he's pretty easy with the old search snake. So, there we go. Now we have the Gemini Beam. ba -da! There we go. Gemini Laser is what it's called. Alright. Alright, now all we have is Needle Man. Alright, on the Needle Man. Alright, the Needle Man stage, we are faced with many porcupine type characters and Spike. Uh, spikes coming out of the walls, out of the ceiling. Um, very dangerous stage. If you're not careful, you will die quick. We have a little maze of sorts here. Uh, I think it's the top path right there. You can get you some energy if you need it. We got these little, uh, I don't even know what you call them. Things there. We got a hard hat. Woo! Needle man. Uh, I don't remember much about... I never did really like Needle Man, I don't guess. Some of the Mega Man bosses, I just didn't care much for. He's easy. When you have the Gemini laser. Oh, and this brings us back to if we could do the Needle Man stage first. Or, uh, yeah. Do Search Snake first. That's what it was. And then get to Needle Man, use Needle Man's weapon to beat Magnet Man. I don't remember if we'll get a chance to check that out later. Because usually you beat the same bosses again in the Mega Man games. But like I said earlier, the Mega Man 2 bosses are the ones we uh, end up fighting. So We're going to try to... Oh, nope, that don't work. Oh, yeah, it does. It just can't be in his rolling form. Come on now. Oh. I need that energy tank, but I know if I try, he's going to get me. What am I doing? Well, that don't help. Nope. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Alright, we got a little bit of energy for it. Alright, we're going to use the old rush coil to jump up there. Boop. And that's it. Climbing up the ladder. Continuing on in this Needle Man match. Oh my gosh. He almost got me. Alright. Now the problem is, these little bitty uh, things, they don't give you much at all. But you switch back and forth to your weapon. Uh, there used to be, uh, in some Mega Man games, there was a, um, some kind of device you could use that no matter which, you could have your Mega Buster on and whatever weapon that you needed the weapon energy for, it would automatically put it to the one that was the least amount. Which I thought was very good. I don't remember. I think it was in Mega Man 4 maybe or 5. That was a very good uh, little gadget to have. As you can see, I've only got three little dents to my health. But we're going to try to go ahead and take it, I guess. Let's do it. Okay, he jumped. Oh, my. Oh, he needs some milk. All right, he jumps. Uh, you just got to. Oh my! Oh! Oh! Oh no!
You just gotta avoid him here and there, shoot him with that Gemini laser. It don't take long. At all. Alright, now we got the needle. What's it called? Needle cannon. Woo! And the rush jet. So now we have the rush jet as well. Alright, guys. Well, that's it for this throwback Thursday. We're done with the eight Mega Man 3 bosses. Now we have four additional levels to take care of. We'll hit. We'll work on some of those next time. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, it ain't easy being cheesy, but we can do it together, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Woo!